Good morning, Reavers. I'm Daniel from Corner Lessons. and today is Mistake Monday. And today I want to discuss why I think every aquarium should have two heaters. And in the past, I've had one heater, and I always went for that big boy. I thought the more water, the better. You keep my tanks stable um, because it was such a powerful heater. But as time went on, and that heater broke, and I didn't have an extra heater in that huge tank to help keep that water circulated and keep it warm, the temperature quickly dropped, and the fact is I went to get another replacement heater that size, and the store that I went to didn't carry heaters that big. So what I'm telling everyone is if you've ever had an electrical malfunctions and you've had a broken glass heater or, or anything, it's always better to have two. That way when one turns on, not only are you having an 800 watt surge or a 400 watt surge or whatever size heater you have, you're gonna have two heaters, so one's gonna kick on probably a few seconds before or maybe even a few minutes before or you may not even need that second heater to kick on and you could set them a degree apart because um, I don't mind the temperatures fluctuating a little bit in the tank between one or two degrees it's not a big issue so you're better off having that extra heater and that lower wattage so you're gonna get that stability and also I tell everyone check your equipment make sure they're turning on um, I mean it was a long time before I even figured out that my heater wasn't even working and the situation that I went was really bad because it wasn't grounded and there was a broken tube and I got electrocuted. So it was an old heater and you know, no one's fault. But one of the things that I really want to specify, if you're like me, you multitask a lot. And I'm always doing too many things and my head can't keep track of everything. So I was doing a water change in my salt bucket and I heated up my water and I was using a 35 gallon Rubbermaid tub and I didn't unplug the heater when I was doing the water change and what this was a titanium heater and it just melted through that Rubbermaid tub in, in a matter of seconds I couldn't believe it by the time I looked back it was already sinking through the, the rubber so make sure you unplug your heaters during water change um, take this advice how you want uh, multiple heaters in different locations works really well if you're using a heater a controller like a system um, as far as uh, some kind of AI to monitor your tank, um, deactivate that heater during water changes, and as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. I love to hear your feedback, uh, your experiences, what happened to you with one of your heaters. Leave your story in the comment section below, and I'll talk about it during the next video. So as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing.